Hello students, Namaste. Welcome to uh, BTEC 360. We're going to discuss IIT Bombay today, uh, one of the oldest IITs that we have in this country. And uh, we're going to discuss the branch wise cut off, the placements, the median salary, the top recruiters that are happening at IIT Bombay. Before I move any further, if you're not subscribed to BTEC 360, please subscribe now. We're going to cover every kind of a institution, engineering college in this, on this channel, including all the IITs, all the NITs, all the triple ITs, the kind of placement that they happen, how you get in and how you, you know, what are the prospects that you have. So we're going to cover everything. So please subscribe to BTEC 360. We also created a complete course comprehensive guidebook on IITs, all the IITs including the cutoffs that are needed at a branch level and the kind of placement that I have at the branch level also. So if you want it, you know, go to, uh, click on the link below, re register and download the ebook for yourself, right. Now about IIT Bombay. IIT Bombay was established in 1958. So we're dealing with about a 68 years legacy, right, uh, established in 1958, one of the oldest IITs that we have in the country. It's an institution of national importance. It's spread over 50 acres in Powai, which is a beautiful part of Bombay, actually. It's the third best college, uh, Indian college in the country based on NRF, which is a national institutional ranking framework, which is a ranking done by the government of India. So very credible out there. Uh, the total students is 5,164. The total students are 5,164. Male is 81% and 19% are girls. And 71% students come from outside the state, 37, and 37 students come from outside the country also. So it's a very, very good uh, pedigree that you have at this point in time. Now, what is the placement? The placement that I'm going to show here is that data that's been submitted by IIT Bombay to the government of India. So it's filed in an affidavit. So it's much more likely to be more authentic and more correct than any other data that's published in the brochure. So we're going to show that kind of data only. When we look at that data, 1,163 students were admitted. This also includes possibly the integrated programs. So uh, there are 990 students who graduated because integrated programs, you know, it takes some time for them as an, you know. Place is 731 students. 259 students moved for higher education. This for me is again a question mark off later. It's been coming on and on that when students are not getting placed, they actually move on for higher education is what they claim. Because if you see, just about a couple of years back, you only had 18 students opting for higher studies and now we're dealing with 259. So, you, how do you make it where 3x of the students move to higher studies? Is it because they're not getting placed? Or is, is there some other thing deeper that we need to look at? I don't know that, but there seems to be some kind of a uh, issue out here. And at some point in time, we will do a special video on this particular aspect because the students moving for higher studies is becoming a pandemic in a certain sense. Not because I don't want them to move for higher studies, but when B.Tech colleges, you know, show students moving for higher studies, they're not pure, pure science students. If it's ICER, obviously they have to move for higher studies because they want to do PhD and all. But here, what we notice is when there is great job prospects for a particular branch, students are not moving for higher studies, but when the job prospects has come down, then students move for higher studies. That's a trend that we notice, so we're going to talk about that at some point in time. The placement, of course, the claim is 100% placement, and the median salary is 19.61 lakh. So that's where we are, right? But again, the same thing, if you notice, you know, uh, if you look at this particular data, you know, uh, in 21-22, 83 students were moving for higher studies. 22, it doubled to 154. And now it's tripled to 259. So there is obviously a very clear, uh, you know, trending that is happening here. All because you want to move to the 100% placement. You want to claim that. So anything that's a balancing number possibly is moved to higher studies is my perception at this point in time. But I don't have anything to prove. So I, all I can say is put my suspicion out there for all of you to understand. Now, what are the cutoffs that you need to get into any of these programs? IIT Bombay, in our opinion, though IIT Madras is ranked as the best uh, engineering college in this country, in our opinion, IIT Bombay is better. And how do we say that? It's based on the student, you know, choices. When you look at the student choices, for I BTEC Computer Sciences, the most preferred college is IIT Bombay, and not IIT Madras or IIT Delhi. It is IIT Bombay, and that you can see by the kind of cutoff that you have. 66 is the closing cutoff, which means it's the best of the best of the best of the best. You know, when you deal with about 15 lakh students, 66 being the, this is AE advanced rank, by the way. And by the way, all this we're talking about is category ranks. So we talk talking of category ranks, don't get confused about anything else, right? Otherwise, how can it be 66 for general and 20 for EWS is what you'll say? Because this 20 gen category, EWS category rank, and this 54 OBC category rank, 31 SC category rank, and 19 ST category rank, right? So when you look at that, 66 is the, uh, you know, for BTEC and computer sciences, electrical is 433. 
बीटेक एंड एमटेक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग जूअल डिग्री एट फोर्टी वन इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग एंड ऑपरेशन रिसर्च वन टू सेवन थ्री इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स वन फाइव थ्री नाइन मैकेनिकल वन एट थ्री फोर दीज आर जनरल कैटेगरी रैंक एंड देन फॉर ई डब्ल्यू सीट्स ट्वेंटी फॉर सी एस इलेक्ट्रिकल वन थर्टीन इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड जूअल डिग्री टू सिक्सटी फाइव इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग टू ट्वेंटी टू इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स सिक्स फिफ्टीन एंड मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग थ्री थर्टी सिक्स ओ बी सी फिफ्टी फोर फॉर सी एस इलेक्ट्रिकल थ्री थर्टी नाइन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग ड्यूअल डिग्री फाइव फोर्टी नाइन इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग नाइन सेवेंटी फोर इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स वन टू फोर सेवन मैकेनिकल नाइन फोर्टी सिक्स फॉर एस सी एच थर्टी वन फॉर सी एस एस टी नाइनटीन फॉर सी एस इलेक्ट्रिकल वन सिक्सटी थ्री फॉर सी एस सी एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स एंड ऑल एंड सो यू कैन एक्चुअली यू नो टेक ए क्लिक ऑफ दिस टेक ए पिक्चर ऑफ दिस यू विल बी बेटर ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस मैटर नेक्स्ट वन इज एरोस्पेस इंजीनियरिंग द अदर वन दट वी टॉकिंग ऑफ अगेन द सेम कट ऑफ दैट वी टॉक ऑफ अगेन विज रिपीट इट इज कैटेगरी रैंक कैटेगरी रैंक रिमेंबर दिस टू थ्री सिक्स वन फॉर एरोस्पेस इंजीनियरिंग केमिकल इज टू फोर सिक्स फोर एनर्जी इंजीनियरिंग इज टू फाइव एट फोर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इज फोर टू फाइव जीरो मेटोलॉजिकल इज फोर थ्री फोर फाइव एंड एनवायरमेंट साइंस इंजीनियरिंग इज फोर ट्रिपल सेवन राइट ई डब्ल्यू एस इज फोर एटी नाइन फॉर एरोस्पेस वन टू नाइन फाइव फॉर ओ बी सी सेवन जीरो थ्री फॉर एस सी फोर सेवेंटी फोर फॉर एस टी एंड दैट वे यू एक्चुअली हैव फॉर अदर ब्रांचेस ऑल्सो टेक अ पिक्चर ऑफ दिस इट विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर योर चांस ऑफ बेस्ड ऑन योर रैंक और विच ब्रांच यू लाइकली टू गेट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी ओनली इन आई टी बॉम्बे माई एडवाइज ऑलवेज हैज बीन अंडरस्टैंड विच ब्रांच यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी इन एंड देन गो अबाउट चूज इन द कॉलेज एंड नॉट द अदर वे राउंड लॉट ऑफ पीपल मेक दिस मिस्टेक ऑफ सेंग आई वॉन्ट टू स्टडी इन आई टी बॉम्बे गेट ऑन टू ए ब्रांच नॉट ऑफ देर चॉइस एंड गेट लॉस्ट आउट ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो जस्ट डोंट मेक दट मिस्टेक नाउ वॉट आर द कंपनीज दट कम फॉर प्लेसमेंट हियर यू एक्चुअली हैव द बेस्ट ऑफ द कंपनीज कमिंग इन फॉर प्लेसमेंट हियर गूगल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एपल ऑप्टिवर एन मीडिया कॉलकॉम द टेक कंपनीज द एयर बस बिकॉज यू नो रिमा एयर स्पेस इज देर आई टी सी माइक्रॉन एयर इंडिया गॉडरेज अदानी पी एन जी इंडियन ऑयल एक्सॉन मोबिल टोयो इंजीनियरिंग पिरामल बेन एंड कंपनी कंसल्ट कंपनीज ओला सोनी सिसमैक्स मार्शल मिकलेना महिंद्रा ओबरा रियालिटी स्विस्ट्री आई एफ एल जनरल सो यू एक्चुअली हैव एवरी गुड कंपनी आउट देयर गोइंग फॉर प्लेसमेंट एट आई टी बॉम्बे एज ए टोल यू अगेन एंड अगेन इन माई ओपिनियन इफ यू टू गो बाय द स्टूडेंट चॉइस आई टी बॉम्बे वुल द नंबर वन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन दिस कंट्री वी ऑल्सो एग्जाम इन द लिंक इन प्रोफाइल ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु क्लेम दट द स्टडीट एट आई टी बॉम्बे एंड द रीजन वाई वी डू दैट इज नाउ इट इज पब्लिक डेटा सो यू नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट वन इयर प्लेसमेंट एंड ऑल हाउ डिड द स्टूडेंट्स हु स्टडीड एट आई टी बॉम्बे परफॉर्म ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो वेन वी लुक एट दैट वी एक्चुअली फाउंड नाइन्टी फोर थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स हु स्टडीड एट आई टी बॉम्बे who claim that they studied at IIT Bombay and can be multi- different kinds of courses remember when you have 60 65 years of legacy obviously the numbers keep racking, racking up right when we looked at that 527 students are right now working in microsoft 145 right now working in deloitte ey 120 and qualcom 397 over a period of time you know lot of these students you know if you look at it 1924 students at some point in time worked in in microsoft Uh, and some of them would have moved on for better prospects might have changed companies you know all those kinds kind of things would have happened but right now 527 and similarly deloitte 797 worked ey 696 worked and qualcom 846 worked so that's a very good number because the best of the companies are obviously going there for placement and that is where you see the kind of companies earlier if you remember the placement data uh, companies that i showed you you will actually see all these companies there also now when we look at the last trillion dollar companies that are there in the world and whether they go for placement very clearly they seem to be going for placement because when we see as of now meta 188 students are working apple 224 are working amazon 450 are working netflix 10 are working and google 782 are working when you have these kind of numbers very clearly means that these companies are actually going for placement because of which even today as we speak so many students are working right so uh, and if you see over a period of time also there seems to be a very very big you know uh, network of people who worked at these companies might have moved out and whatever it is but at this point in time so many are working which means that the biggest of the companies are actually going to it bombay for recruitment now we also looked at how are the students as i said 94000 alumni where are they working right now 73748 are right now working in india or 78% which means that 22% are are around the world this is a very big statement 22% of the students who studied at iit bombay are right now not in india but you know working all over the world which means the career prospects are so so good that one in four or one in four or five students is actually conquering the world moving out 
creating a fantastic career path for themselves and getting a job outside of India, maybe from the campus itself or maybe after they work here, moving out, or maybe they joined Microsoft and attained a global role also. So those kind of things would also happen, right? And of this 22%, 13% students are in USA. So there can't be a bigger statement than that. About 1,440 are in UK, 1,081 are in UAE, 944 in Canada, 716 in Germany, 656 in Singapore and 651 in Australia. So you actually have these people, these students who were studied here, conquering the world, 22% of them living outside of India and making a great career for themselves. Of course, 35% students are in Maharashtra working in Bombay or Maharashtra rather of which 28% are in Mumbai, Karnataka 9,721 students, of which 10% are in Bangalore itself, Hyderabad 3,026. So it actually follows the pattern of where the big corporations are so that you exactly know where they're working at this point in time. Right? Now, we're going to be doing this for all engineering colleges, not just IITs, NITs and IIITs, but even for the private colleges, every college, because we want to help you decide and get into the best college possible. We want to inform you on everything that is out there. So from that perspective is what we are covering here. As I told you, there is a comprehensive guidebook of IIT, IITs, of cutoffs, placements, roles, everything that you have. Download that if you want. And if you're not subscribed to BTEC360, you're missing out. Subscribe right now. Thank you so much.